Good day! In this video, we are going to calculate probabilities of the binomial distribution in level 3 statistics. So what is a binomial distribution? It can only occur if this following condition holds true. So first, it must have a fixed number of trials. Secondly, the trial must be independent of each other. The third one, the probability of success at each trial must be constant. And last but not least, they only have uh, two possible outcomes often referred as success or failure. So the two main things, the difference between a binomial and poson that the trial must be fixed. So there are 10 cars or 10 items or whatever, okay? And the trial has a success or failure kind of question. So without further ado, we will look at the example and how to use it using the graphic calculator. Okay, so now we go to the next page. Okay, so now we're going to bring down the graphic calculator and we're going to adjust Okay, we are ready to go. So the question is, a police officer checks five cars in succession. She knows that from her experience, the probability of car not having a wolf is one out of six. Find the probability that three of the cars have not got wolf. Okay, how to do this? Okay, so you need to know that you need to have three items, N, X, and P. N is the number of car trials. So there are five cars, so N equal to five. X is the probability of success. So there are 3 out of 5, so x equal to 3, and p is the probability of success in 1 out of 6. So these 3, once you know these 3 items, you can key in the calculator, and you have to use BPD in your graphic calculator because it's asking you for 3 out of 5. It's different from less than 3, which I'm going to do in the next example. So if they say exactly 3 out of 5 cars have no warrant of fitness, then we will use BPD. Okay, without further ado, let's start the calculation. First, you go to statistics, which is on the second button there, press the execute. Now you have into this screen. You have five columns, graph, calculate, test, interval, and distribution. So you're going to key in inter, uh, distribution, which is F5. Key in the F5, and you are going to get into normal, T, chi squared, F, and binomial. So of course, you must press the F5 button again, binomial, and now you are into this BPD, BCD, and inverse binomial. Because we are doing a point, P means point, 3 out of 5, so we are going to do BPD. So you now you're going to press F1, BPD, and the answer will come up, a screen will appear like that. Remember, whenever you do statistics, you always have to calculate, it, calculate in terms of variable. So again, you must change to variable, change to F2, and you are changing it to variable. Now you just key in the data, X is the, X, the probability, so X is 3. Once you enter, so you enter, press 3 and execute. Number of trial is 5, key in 5 and execute. And then you are going to, followed by success, 1 out of 6, so you put 1, A, B, C, 6. There's the fraction, execute and execute. And the answer is going to be 0 0.0321. So the answer is going to be 0. 0.0321 and that will be achieved in NCA level 3. Okay, we shall do uh, adding probability, which is slightly different. Now we are going to do NCD, okay? So we're going to adjust the calculator again so that you can see it. Okay, before we start, we're going to reset because I want to show you how to do it, okay? So the reset, just go to menu, go to system and F5, reset and then you put F2, clear all memories and then F1, and then you just wait for a while, and then exit. Okay, so we are ready to go now, okay? Okay, we go read the question now. The probability that a certain profile of user has their mobile phone on at 6 p.m. is 0 0.73. What is the probability that out of 60 chosen user, 39 or fewer have their mobile phone switched on? So now you are going to calculate the probability between 0, 1, to all the way to 39, because they are fewer than 39. So you calculate 30, from 0 to 39, okay? So you can do BPD, you can do 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but it'll take a long time. But the graphic calculator has this function where they can accumulate them. So that's why it's called BCD. C means for cumul cumulate, okay? So from 0 to wherever you stop. So now your X is now going to be stopped at 39, so your X is 39. There are 60 people, so your N is 60, and the success is 0 0.73, and now you're just going to key in your calculator. Okay, again, so we just go to menu, go to statistics, F2, and then you go to distribution, F5, go to binomial, F5. Now you're going to do BCD because it's accumulate from 0 to 39. So you're going to be 
bcd f2 and now again in the list go to variable f2 and now you are in variable make sure you key in the data now x is 39 because you're calculating from 0 to 39 you accumulate from 0 to 39 so you stop at 39 so x is 39 now your number of trial there are 60 people so 60 is the n execute and then your success is 0 0.73 and then you just press the execute execute and the answer will come up to 0 0.107 so the answer, the probability of less than 39 users is going to be 0 0.10742. And that will be another achieve in your NCA level 3. So technically, it's quite easy. If you have any problem, just put a comment below and I'll help you all again. Cheers everyone and have a good day.